Hello YouTube and welcome to your first Microsoft Visual C Sharp tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be making a simple hello world program. Now here we can see that I have Visual C Sharp already open and if you don't have this program already just look at the link in the download description and it'll take you to the Microsoft website where you can download that and install it. Uh, after a certain period of time you will have to enter a license key but you can get one of those for free just by following the instructions that it gives you. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and create a new project and we're going to select a console application and now I'm just going to call my console application hello world YouTube and just let me move this into shot here click OK and it'll load our project now here you can see it has our main file which is program.cs it has a bunch of code in here that you probably don't understand yet and that's perfectly fine so um, before we get started let's go ahead and look at some of the things that our IDE has built into it so up here we have the normal menu bar that you should be familiar with um, you can just play around with that and find stuff in there that you can use um, we got our bar that lets us save and open files and copy stuff and paste stuff um, this you don't really have to worry about this bar right here yet and down here we have what's called the error list now this is going to tell us everything that goes wrong in our program when we try to make it and run it it will also tell us what line number that's on and you can see here that we have the line numbers right here and that makes it easier to go in and find what you did wrong and fix it so that the program will actually run now over here we have what's called the solution explorer now you can see we have solution hello world youtube open now what a solution is is it's a, a file that can hold a bunch of projects or class libraries or other stuff like that. Now you can see we have the properties of our hello world project. We have ref references. You don't have to worry about these two yet. And here's our main file program.cs. This is what's going to run when we run our program. And you can see down here we have the properties of it. It's got the file name and some other stuff up here that you don't have to worry about. And so let's go ahead and focus on our code right now in program.cs. Now let me zoom in a bit. You can see here that it says static void main and then it has string args. Now what this is, is it's called the main method. Now every program has to have a main method. It's the first method that's run when the program starts. If you don't have a main method, your program is going to be confused and it's not going to know what, what to run when it starts up. So inside of our main method, we're going to go ahead and type the code that will say hello world. So we're going to type console and now what this is referring to is the window that our program is going to be running in which is pretty much like a command prompt window console.write and you can see here that right here there's this little window that pops up right here now this is called IntelliSense what IntelliSense does is it gives you suggestions based on what you've already typed in and this is really useful when you're trying to find something or if you're just playing around with C Sharp and trying to learn by yourself so you can see here if we type write line we can go ahead and arrow down and you can see it's selected right line for us and if we press tab it's going to automatically fill that in so when we call right line you can see that it needs these two parentheses now inside these parentheses we're going to tell the program what to write on the line so we're going to do this by using quotes and we'll type hello world so basically what that's going to do is going to, it's going to print out everything that's in between those quotes now every time you make a statement in C Sharp you have to end that line with what is a semicolon and so what we've done is we've typed console.write line and inside of our what's called parameters or parentheses if you want to call them that we've got our string or series of characters that is going to be printed out to the console and in this case our says hello world now if we run this you can see that it opens really fast and closes. Let's let this load here for a second. And I think I clicked on something when I shouldn't have. Yeah, let's just get out of the object browser there. So what we need to do in order for it to not close when we do that, we just need to tell the program that we want to read the line. And so what it's going to do is going to pause until we do something. So we'll do console.read line. You can see it's read line there. It says reads the next line of characters from the standard input stream. 
So, and inside of this, we're just going to use empty parameters because we don't need to tell it to do anything. And then always end your line with a semicolon. So now if we run this, you can see that it says hello world right there and it doesn't close out of it yet. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment them and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and there's going to be more tutorials coming in the future.